In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the main features of this awesome plugin. First of all, we need to load one of the thousand rhythms of the library, in this case of the remix groups. Transworld will be a nice one. You can halve the speed in only one click. Or if you want to change the tempo, you'll only need to modify the value in your host sequencer and automatically it will change in your groove. The slice menu option will be your choice if you need the drum separated in each note of the keyboard, so you can create your own rhythm. On the other hand, you have the groove menu, with the rhythm separated by layers. I'm gonna load another groove to see how works the output assignment. You only need to select Output B for the second rhythm, go to the channel in your host application and select O3 plus 4 which corresponds to Output B. Now, as you can see, Channel 2 of Stylus corresponds to the Channel 2 of Protobus. And the same applies to the first channel. Furthermore, you can control the volume of every channel in your plugin. Now we're gonna see how to add effects to your groups by the auxiliary sense of stylus. Click the FX tab. Here you can add up to three different effects into any of the four auxiliary sense, master or by insert. I'm gonna use the EZ verb, but you can choose whatever you want. Let's see the functionalities of the edit tab. We can choose between low pass filter, band pass filter, or high pass filter within the power filter section. The envelope sections allows us to change the attack sustain decay release curve applied to different parts such as the filter or page. The master filter is another nice and easy way to filter the signal and you can filter any of the rhythms selected on the mixer tab. With the pitch feather, you can vary the pitch without affecting the tempo. And finally, low frequency oscillator. I'm gonna select a sinusoidal wave and apply it to the panning tab. We can change the frequency rate of the wave and the depth. Let's hear how it works. Started with the Charles tab. First of all, we need to click the on button. 
the reverse fader is one of the most useful. Now let's hear how the pitch fader works. You can choose either rise or get it down. And to finish this tutorial, I'm gonna show the drag and drop functionality. With the sound you want and the group menu selected, click on the MIDI file drag and drop and drag it into your sequencer. Now you have the MIDI file in your sequencer, and you can play it either through your transport window or through your plugin. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. Thanks for watching.